Hello everyone, our next topic is types of sources. Okay, these sources are divided into two categories, it depends on the dependency. First one is independent sources, second one is dependent sources. Depends on the type of supply, the sources are divided into two types that is AC sources and DC sources. Okay, we will discuss later about that. Now, independent sources and dependent sources. Again, independent sources are divided into two types one is ideal second one is practical again ideal sources are voltage and current again practical sources are voltage source and current source coming to dependent sources linear sources and non-linear dependent sources linear dependent sources non-linear dependent sources coming to linear dependent sources first one is voltage control voltage source second one voltage control current source Third one, current control voltage source. Fourth one is current control current source. Similarly, non-linear sources, voltage control voltage source, voltage control current source, current control voltage source, and current control current source. Now, let us discuss one by one. Okay, first one is ideal voltage source. For all values of current, for all values of current, the terminal voltage of voltage source is internal voltage of voltage source that is terminal voltage means here this is the terminal voltage so terminal voltage is always equal to internal voltage of voltage source so v is equal to vs then the source is called ideal voltage source that means this ideal voltage source does not depends on the current so the graph can be drawn as this is voltage this is current if current is goes on increasing voltage is constant this is ideal voltage source for ideal voltage sources terminal voltage is independent on the current if you observe here this characteristics so characteristics are non-linear in nature characteristics are non-linear in nature so all ideal voltage sources are non-linear sources all ideal voltage sources are non-linear sources similarly ideal current source for all values of voltage across the ideal voltage source sorry for all values of voltage across the ideal current source current through the uh, current through this terminal is constant current through this terminal is constant that means if you draw the graph between current and voltage so we are increasing or decreasing the voltage current is always constant so this is ideal current source you can draw like this also this is voltage this is current so current is constant even voltage is increases this is the current okay here also the characteristics are non-linear in nature so all currents all ideal current sources are non-linear current sources all ideal current sources are non-linear current sources here the current source value that is current values does not depends on the voltage across the source next one is practical voltage source for practical voltage source there is internal resistance that is connected in series with this voltage source now apply kvl so current is flowing in this way so the drop across resistor is this is positive this is negative so current is leaving at positive terminal of the source so minus vs is equal sorry minus vs plus irs so this is plus so current at positive terminal so it is plus vt terminal voltage is equal to zero from this what is vs vs is equal to vt plus is sorry irs from this right terminal voltage of ideal voltage source vt is equal to vs minus irs okay if you observe here the terminal voltage of practical voltage source depends on the current flowing through the circuit or current flowing through this element okay so the terminal voltage is depends on current flowing through the element the characteristics are this is v this is i 
so this is ideal characteristics practical characteristics are somewhat droop here okay this droop is due to this drop that is irs drop this is vs this is for ideal voltage source and this is for practical voltage source so here the voltage at terminal is as a function of current if you observe these two circuits ideal voltage source and practical voltage source the internal resistance of ideal voltage source is zero okay the internal resistance that is source resistance is equal to zero ohms zero means short circuit infinity if rs is equal to infinity this is open circuit okay just remember so the internal resistance of voltage source is zero ohms that is short circuit next one practical current source this is the practical current source in practical current source the resistance is connected across the current source that is in parallel with the current source so here the voltage across this resistor is voltage across load because these three elements are connected in parallel so voltage is constant so what is i1 here i1 is equal to vt by rs now by ksl what is expression for is 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 equal to let it be terminal current i1 plus it so by ksl so entering current is equal to sum of leaving currents entering current is is leaving currents are i1 and it from this what is the terminal current it is equal to substitute i1 is equal to here is minus vt by rs okay if you observe here the terminal current okay that the terminal current is depends on the terminal voltage okay in ideal voltage in ideal current source terminal current does not depends on the terminal voltage but in practical current source terminal current is depends on the voltage from this expression we can say that terminal current is as a function of terminal voltage if you draw the characteristics this is current this is voltage this is the ideal current source characteristics and this is practical current source characteristics okay this is due to vt by rs this drop due to vt by rs this is practical practical current source this is ideal current source for ideal current source so here this is open circuit meant that means internal impedance or internal resistance is equal to infinity infinity means open circuit okay remember this for ideal voltage source internal impedance or internal resistance is zero that is short circuit for ideal current source internal impedance is infinity next one linear and non linear dependent sources the linearity of dependent source with respect to control variable is varying linearly then the source is called linear control source otherwise non linear control source these are the control sources okay control sources can be represented with rectangle box okay inside the box we represent either current source polarities this is current source polarity and this is voltage source polarity in that first one is voltage control voltage source here control variable is voltage voltage control means control variable is voltage so source is voltage source okay this is voltage source control variable is voltage according to the definition if the control variable varies linearly okay here it is varying linearly this is the constant so it is varying linearly so this is called linear control voltage control voltage source or linear dependent source coming to the non linear dependent source here control variable is varying non linearly square means non linearly non linearly so this is constant so this is called non linear control source or non linear dependent source similarly this is current to control voltage source here control variable is current and source is voltage so this is current control voltage source similarly this one voltage control voltage 
voltage control current source source is current source okay so this is the symbol of current source source is current source control variable is voltage so this is the voltage so it is voltage control current source this one is current control current source source is current control variable is current so this is this is current control current source all these are linear sources okay linear dependent sources are linear control sources so because this dependent this is control variable this control variable varying linearly so this sources are linear sources coming to non linear sources same voltage control voltage source here source is voltage so this is voltage source control variable is voltage so this is voltage control voltage source coming to this this one voltage source this is voltage source and control variable is current so current control voltage source coming to this one this is current source and control variable is voltage so this is voltage control current source coming to here here source is current that is current source and control variable is current so this is current control current source all these variables are varying non linearly so these sources are called non linear control sources or non linear dependent sources this is about the types of sources thank you for watching